we're going to discuss Pythagorean Theorem or Pythagoras. Now, what is Pythagoras or Pythagorean Theorem? This is a way on how to find one missing side, it could be this side, that side, or that side, any of those, as long as the other two sides are given, and we have a right angle here. This is a very important part. Because we can't use this formula if we don't have a right angle. Now, we have three letters, the A, the B, and the C. The only important part here is the C. C is always absolute. So C is fixed. It, it is just on one side. So C is always the one opposite to the right angle. This is always your C. Now, when it comes to A or B, it doesn't matter. This one could be A or B or vice versa. This could be B or A. So it doesn't matter which one is A or B. But C, it has to be the longest side. Okay, so let's just say this is A and that is B. Your choice, whatever your A is, whatever your B is. But C must be in here. Now let's just have an example. For example, I want to find C. For example, this one is given as 3 and this one is given as 4. So all you have to do is to replace A and B. So what is our A? Our A here is 3. So we will just write 3 squared. We will just have to replace A. Copy the plus sign. What is our B? B is 4. So 4 squared equals to, we don't know what our C is, so we will just have to do C squared. So literally replace A and B because those are the available numbers that we have. Now what is 3 squared? 3 squared is 3 times 3 which is 9 plus 4 squared 16 equals to C squared. Now, just simplify this side, 9 plus 16, which is 25, equals to c squared. And then, we need c only, we have to square root both sides. So that will be 5 is equals to our c. And therefore, this will be 5. As simple as that. So let's just have another example. I will just erase the triangle here. I mean the, the numbers, the values. So for example, we are given the C, let's just say the C is 10. And one of the side is, there's one side here given as, let's just say 6. Now, again, I will write the formula, A squared plus B squared is equals to C squared. Now, what is our A? A could be this one or this one. It's up to you guys. This could be A, that could be B. For me, I will just write it as my A. This would be my B. And C, of course, is always the longest side or the one opposite to the right angle. Now, what is our A? 6. So, literally replace 6. Uh, me, I mean A. Replace it by 6. So, 6 squared. Plus, do I have my B? No, I don't have my B. So, I'll just write B squared because I don't have it. C, do I have my C? Yes, I have 10. So 10 squared. Now just simplify 1 by 1. Square root of 6, 36. Plus B squared, stay the same. 10 squared is 100. Now I want my B, so I have to move this 36 to the other side by taking it out here. So minus 36, minus 36, or you can just bring it on the other side and change the sign. So B squared is what I have left here is equals to 100 minus 36, which is 64, and then square root both sides. Therefore, B is equals to A. And we have B now. And that's how you do Pythagorean theorem.